architecture is being systematically killed and tortured. Stay tuned to find out more. You are watching Stripping Architecture News for November 2023. We guess that everyone is familiar with the following terminologies. Suicide, homicide, genocide, etc. But have you ever heard about domicide? Domicide is the deliberate destruction of a home or the killing of the city. According to the recent UN report, almost 50% of the housing units in Gaza Strip were destroyed or damaged within one month due to the domicide that was committed by the Israeli forces. The domicide includes hospitals, schools, churches, mosques, and loads of other public buildings. Make no mistake, domicide can be also destroying urban infrastructure. So far, in the West Bank, the Israeli domicide is also taking place, but in a different context, mainly in destroying the entire infrastructures in the Palestinian cities, villages, and refugee camps, from killing to newborn buildings. Neom is the place to be as a star architect. More and more star architects are taking place in shaping the futuristic, controversial urban development, NEOM. Striking skyscraper will be erected in one of NEOM's four regions of development. We know that nobody gives shit about the function of the skyscraper or even who funds them. People are just interested to know what is the height of the new skyscraper. This skyscraper in NEOM will be 330 meter tall plus the elevation of the mountain 2000 meter equal the highest skyscraper in the world beating the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. COVID-19 Memorial Uruguay is planning to build a giant sculpture that will commemorate the victims of the last pandemic. This concrete steel structure is the first monument dedicated to all the beloved ones that we have lost during the pandemic. While the government is actively interested about realizing this monument, their only requirement is to make sure that this structure will be built with the least environmental impact and with the most benefit to the community. Well, in all honesty, this kind of memorials can be designed in a way more effective manner with way less means. Therefore, the logical question is, is this supposed to be touristic attraction or a memorial? A Vietnamese couple has built their own house completely out of glass. The major intention was to treat birds, butterflies and trees as co-owners. This project looks utopian, nature-friendly and explores the new boundaries of privacy at home. Maybe many of us would like to live in such a house. Would you? Well, talking about privacy and houses, we leave you with our last segment, Ugly Houses in Belgium. There you will see exactly what privacy means. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share, subscribe and comment. See you in the next episode.